For the AA schools, as most of the quarterfinal matchups taking place tonight, is this South Portland's year? Both the boys and girls, number one seeds, and in action tonight, the boys at Bill Gymnasium taking on eight seeded Massabesic. Kate Carr working from the top of the key, slicing through the defense. He had 13 for the Red Rides. Massabesic, some nice ball movement, skipping it to Benjamin Sampson from downtown. Mustangs led briefly early. Hunter Owen, them the steal to Garrick by a rookie. 69-37, Red Riots stay unbeaten. Number five, Sanford visiting number four, Gorham tonight. Early going, Xavier Levine had it working. The pull-up three, he had 16. Then deep from the corner, Sanford is up five. Here comes Gorham, though. Nick Strout, the crossover, then the pull-up. And Garrett Smith slicing through the defense for the Rams. They would take the lead back. Ryan Reno a little bit later working on the glass. 48-45 Gorham. They've won 11 of 13. They face the Thornton Noble winner next. Defending regional champ, Bon Eagle hosting Scarborough. Third quarter, Zach Maturo buries the three. Scott's up 14. Maturo had 27. Other way for Scarborough, Brian Austin doing he can. The finish, he had 22. But the Scots would pull away. Nate Ferris, the foul line, Jay. Then the big man, Elliot Bouchard, steps out and shows the range. He had 12, 71-47. Bonnie Eagle is moving on. Double A North, top seeded Edward Little hosting Portland. All Eddies from the opening tip. Austin Brown hits the three. We had 33 to one at one point. Then Max Creaser passes inside to John Shea for two more. He had 12, 77, 22. All Edward Little. Number five, Lewiston. Number four, Wyndham. This was game of the night. Let's head right to overtime. Dylan Gorman to Hayden Bilodeau with the Eagles down one. They take a one point lead, 43-42. Lewiston pounds it into Evan Williams, a three point play. Blue Devils go back up two. Wyndham would tie it up. Caleb Cedray, the nice post move. We have a 45-45 game. Huge play here though. Eric Wieser, the steal and hoop. Wyndham regains the lead, 47-45. But Lewiston comes right back. 45 seconds left. David Amasambo ties it on the baseline. Wyndham would take a lead on free throws. Lewiston last possession. Chance to tie or take the lead, but it's Cedre with the win or the steal to seal the win. 51-47 Wyndham in OT. Eagles get top seeded EL in the semifinals. Number three, Deering. Number Number six, Chevrolet. Rams have some quality coaches. Looks like they brought in Michael Hoffer for the playoff run. I don't blame him. He's got a lot of basketball knowledge. Rams led by three at the break. They open up things in the second half. Oscar Hussein, the head of the pack for two. Then Daryl Germain, whose house? Daryl's house. Mapori, Sumahosa inside for two. Dylan Morrison had 11 for the Stags. Hits his three to pull Chevrolet within 13 with five and a half left. But once again, whose house? Daryl's house, 61-46. Jermaine had 20. Rams get Bangor next. Defending state champ Bangor hosting Oxford Hills, so I kind of gave away the score on this one. Kobe Huckins knocks down the jumper for the Vikings, looking for the upset, but Sam Martin went to work. He had 30. 79-55 Bangor. They face Deering, as I said, in the semis. Double A South girls, top seed at South Portman, hosting Thornton Academy. First quarter, Maggie Whitmore inside to Cora Boothby, a kilo for two. She had 10. Red Riots doing it with the big players tonight. Kalisha Toll in the post. She had 10. Whitmore, 10 of her 16 came in the first. 46-18 South Portland. They face the Gorham Noble winner in the semis. Second seeded Scarborough hosting seven seeded Bonnie Eagle. Late in the first quarter, Madison Blanche ahead of the break. 10 of her 12 came in the third. Then Lindsay Fiorillo drives for two of her 12. Scarborough by 12 after three. They win it 40 to 27. All right, double A North. Bangor hosting Lewiston. The Blue Devils keeping it close in the first half. Madeline Foster, the three. Lewiston down only two. But Bangor pulls away. Abby Quinn inside the hoop and the foul. 50 to 31 Bangor. They face Portland in the semifinals. Southern A girls prelim. Mount Ararat hosting Freiburg. Last game at the hangar, ending a 47 year run there. Camden Jones starts off the third with the put back. Freiburg up. Other way, Lauren Magno, the three for Mount Ararat. The Eagles, they're up 10. Jones answers with the three for Freiburg. The Raiders trying to rally, but. Too much. Kyla Greenleaf burying the three. Hey, way to send out the hangar. 58-45 Mount Ararat. They get Greeley in the quarterfinals. All right, big one going on. Monmouth and Old Orchard Beach. Pick up the action in this one. Ryan Crockett driving to the hoop for two. Then Crockett fakes the three, hits the pull-up. He had 32. He reached 1,000 career points. Monmouth goes to work inside in the second. Brock Bates, the putback, he had 14. Then Gabe Martin with the nice work inside. 
Monmouth comes away with a 62-53 win. Monmouth the win. All right, seven seeded Hallville hosting 10 seeded Trape Academy. What a game this was. Fourth quarter. Berg Downs dishes to Isaac Henderson. He had 10. Trape up by four. Hallville goes on a run. Josh Nato to Patrick Rush. Game tied at 49. Then Rush again. He had 22. What a game. Bulldogs take the lead. Trape responds. Frankie Driscoll, the floater, he had 20. Then Treshawn Brown hits two of his 19 using the glass. 58 57. Trape with the upset. They move on to face Wayne Fleet in the quarterfinals. All right, quick college basketball game for you. UMaine taking on UMass Lowell. Kelly Fogarty drains the three. Black Bears made 10 in the first half. They win at 77-53. They've won four in a row. Black Bears on fire. 